Hey guys, welcome back to another um, Studio Ray's Boys in Their Toys. Uh, what I have here, as you can see, I uh, have the new Tesla charger. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and installation of this item. And as you can see, guys, um, if you guys are, of course, the guys out there who own Teslas know exactly what this is. For those who are interested in a Tesla, this is something you're going to eventually going to have to pick up. Um, it's something that's not required but if you want the most convenient way to charge your, your car at home or your office this is the item to pick up all right i'm not going to get into the, all the specs about it how it's made up and what have you but i can tell you that this thing is 500 dollars. all right um not that cheap and i'm setting up my my home location to eventually to get my tesla i'll already be set up as you know been following my channel i've been installing certain items on the side of my house uh, a water faucet, electrical uh, plug, and now this charger, all in preparation for my model uh, model three or model S, what I decided to end up picking up. Um, it's something I'm shooting for, and this is just one step to that goal. So what I'm gonna show you how to install this. I'm gonna do an open boxing. I'm sure you saw all the op open boxing, but I'm gonna uh, entertain you guys, show you what I'm getting in this thing. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install it in vital siding. If you install this in your garage, it's not a big deal. But for those who install it outside, um, we have some certain challenges. Mine, I have vital siding, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I'm dealing with, and have a nice finished look to this. So let's stand by. Let's take a look, and I'll show you what I'm dealing with. All right. Um, let's get together now. Let's see. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. All right, um, I'm not going to get into the specs about this thing. All right, it's a wall charger. It's for your Tesla. It's compatible with your Model X, S, and 3s, and pretty much anything else uh, Tesla decided to come out down the pipe with. Um, I don't own a Tesla right now. This is just preparation for my Tesla when I eventually decide to make that plunge. Um, so I said, let me just invest the money now because it's a fun $500 uh, item you're gonna have to buy if you're a model if you're a model 3 or a model s or a model um, x s3 owner you know um, you're gonna have to w have this because if you don't then you'll be slave to the superchargers or you're gonna uh, have to buy eye on those plug plugins which uh, to all my research uh, it's just way too slow in charging your your item so I decided to make the plunge pick this bad boy up and gonna install it on the side of my house. Uh, and the trick for the side of my house, I gotta make sure I want a nice finished look, all right? Preserving for my Tesla. And as you can see right here, um, opening the box, it's just, you know, it's well packed, I must admit. Uh, it is, for $500, it should be. Um, uh, you get all the screws, all the plugs, the, uh, of course, the, the um, manual, and what have you and um, it's pretty basic all right uh, there's not too many parts to this thing all right you have a little a mountain plate what i'm showing you here right here now and uh made of steel very sturdy so it'll definitely uh, uh come in handy uh, i plan on using every single item in my unit um you even have this uh you have another additional i guess they call it extension plate um um, I'm going to be installing. Um, so I'm going to use every item. Nothing's going to go to waste. Uh, even if I don't even need to install it, I'm going to install it because why? I paid uh, $500 for this and I'm not just letting it sit in the damn box and collect dust. So I will be using it. Um, this item here is, uh, like a quick connector extension plate for your Tesla. Um, again, it's not needed, but it's not going to hurt for me to install this. And again, it gives me that nice flush look. Um, you know, have all the wires, and it's going to be easier to install. So I'm looking forward to putting this up and getting it done. Um, let's look, what else will we have here? And uh, just to let you know, if uh, I didn't make, a, uh, make it known, I ended up picking up the... I believe the 25 foot cord version um, because again this will be mounted outside on the side of my house 
and I wanted that extra reach so when I do install it um, there's no issue well it won't be an issue but I want that flexibility on how I decide to pull up my Tesla in my driveway front back whatever I decide um, I have the extra length to to reach my um, my my vehicle all right um, I didn't want to be restricted to just a, a, a eight foot because then it limits your flexibility on how you pull into your driveway pretty much it may sound uh, minor but um, again the eight foot 25 foot is the same exact price so you know what if I'm gonna pay that much give me the extra cord give me the extra distance I'll figure it out all right I rather have it and not have it so that's how I look at it and I see as you can see I got the silver amount or the silver color and um, again it's a piece of plastic <laughs> with all the uh, computer components inside uh, needed to make sure my uh, so I can uh, charge up my Tesla and that's it guys all right so let me show you my issues of what I'm dealing with and how I'm gonna install this on my wall all right so let's cut away to uh, that that uh, that segment all right and now you can see when you're mounting a Tesla outside especially on siding you, you're running an issue of again depending where you put it you're always going to run into some type of profile on your siding and when you put that Tesla charger on there like I have the plate here if I try to mount this Tesla charger just on the siding which can be done don't get me wrong you know long enough screws put it in you can get it up there but then you run with the issue as you notice you're going to have a gap behind your Tesla charger and of course having that gap you can just simply get some cork and seal that all up, all up and you know to seal it up. But I didn't want to look do that. All right, I felt that was a little too sloppy. Um, again, water will get in the back of it, and I really didn't want that look. So, I so I end up uh, going with a different method. All right, I'm gonna be using a light mount. Um, for siding all right it's a special mount um, that you use and I'll, I'll show you an example of it all right that's a light mount all right when you want something when you need some type of flush connect um, flush uh, surface when you light your mount so I decided to use that same premise get a larger one for my Tesla charger and as you can see guys I ended up end up picking up a light now for my Tesla charger. Alright. I have to install this first. Alright. This is a jumbo light mount. Um, the color is Savannah Wicker. It matches my uh, my siding. So what I'm gonna do being that I'm gonna have to cut an opening in this wherever I'm gonna mount this to get a nice finished look. Alright. Uh, so I like about this this version that these, this little trim comes off. All right. So therefore, when I cut my hole in my siding, this is the siding is going to run against this edge here, and this here is going to give you that nice finished look. All right. So, so that's how I'm going to mount my Tesla. And again, when I put the plate on, depending if I have to use a plate, you see how it fits nice and flush to it. So. And then when I hook this up to it, this will also be nice and flush against this. I like, oh, come up a little bit, but I'm not really worrying about that. The main issue is that I want to have a nice flat mount, mounting surface when I install this Tesla charger. And to do that, you're going to need a, a light mount, um, a light mount, mount, uh, a light mount, all right? So, I hope I said that enough times. <laughs> Um, so this is what I'm gonna have to install and so I'm gonna install this first before I touch any of this to install this onto this. And once this is installed, then I can get nice small screws, go through this, go through my sheeting, go into uh, the wood to give a nice secure mount. So that's my idea. Again, the idea is to get this installed first before I install the, uh, the Tesla charger. 
um, by doing this I have a nice flat surface for my Tesla charger and again you get a nice finished look all right and that's the hiccups you have to do uh, I guess uh, when you install it outside on a on a siding all right um, you can pick up one of these mounts get it up installed so it's nice and flush and secure so let me uh get this going uh, get this installed and then once this installed then uh, we'll tackle actually installing the box uh, the Tesla all right and figure me um Dave is now power washed in there the houses and stuff so uh, forgive of, of the noise all right so uh, I'm gonna end this video with this uh, this next video will show me installing this uh, light mount and after that then I'll do another one showing me actually installing the Tesla charger so stay with me guys if you like it give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel all right boys in their toys and now I'm just installing this is the preparation for my Tesla charger.